Well, here's Mrs. T with her tea. I say tea and prayer, they go very well together. Are there any lessons that you've learned over the many years at Cape and Ray that you want to pass on to someone else? Yes, I think I've uh, learned uh, mostly to accept what God gives you. It's probably not what you thought you needed, but in the end, I often say, God is always right, just like your mother. <laughs> he is always right. And so I look back and all I say is, that was why, that was why. I used to dread being old, <laughs> but now I find it very exciting because um, I look back now over almost three generations. My husband and I were not much older than our guests and students. It was fun, but as we got older, they seemed to get younger. And so they didn't like to say Ian, so they called him Major. The joy of the Christian life is obedience. Jesus said he learned obedience by the things that he suffered. And I think sometimes the hard things are those that take us closer to him and in obedience to him. He made it so clear that we were to die to ourselves. And maybe that's the hardest part of the Christian life. But on the other hand, it's the only way to live, giving Christ his rightful place in your life and everything you do and say and think. And uh, trusting him for all the future that lies before you and knowing that he is adequate for anything he sends. <laughs>